Hi, this is Lara at Heliot Wave Stock Market with your end of the week analysis for the S&P 500 for the trading week ending Friday the 28th of September. I still have the same number of charts to get through so I shall be brief with each. Our first and our second daily wave counts differ at cycle degree. They are different at the monthly chart level and again a link to the text analysis where you can see monthly charts is in today's text analysis. This wave count must see a new all-time high because cycle D must move beyond the end of cycle B. In the short to mid term the target remains the same. At 1508 wave 5 green would reach equality in length with wave 3 green. Any further downwards movement for 4 green can't move into wave 1 green price territory. Movement below 1426.68 would invalidate this wave count. If this wave count were to be invalidated with downwards movement, we would use the first daily alternate, which looks at the upwards movement from this point differently. Instead of three pink being incomplete and unfolding as an extension, it may have been over here, and so three blue may have been over. We may have seen the last fourth wave correction on the way up to a new high. If 4 blue is over here, then 5 blue would have just begun and it must move price to a new all time high at 1607 wave C black in its entirety would reach a quality in length with wave A black and at 1614, just 7 points above that, wave 5 blue would reach 1.618 the length of wave 1 blue. If we see price continue further sideways and lower, 4 blue could be unfolding as a double combination or a double zigzag. That is possible, but it looks much more likely that it would be over here. It's found support extremely close to the lower edge of this channel and it's nicely in proportion to wave 2 blue. If it did move lower, it can't move into wave 1 blue price territory Movement below 1380.39 would firmly invalidate this wave count, indicating that our second wave count, its alternate, would be correct. Let's have a look at this correction and the recent movement on the hourly chart with the low for 4 blue down here. Is this slow down here? This upwards movement did not continue higher as an impulse it ended here as a three wave zigzag. So this first wave to the upside, if four green is over, may be unfolding as a leading diagonal where the subwaves may subdivide into zigzags and subwaves two and four must be zigzags. So we have a zigzag up for one, a zigzag down for two, which would be incomplete. It can't be over here because on the five minute chart, this downwards movement subdivides perfectly as a five wave impulse, so as a correction it cannot be over there. I have a question about the B wave for the Sally chart. This on the five minute chart looks best as a five, so this may be just A and B. We may see a little bit of upwards movement for C to complete B aqua before we see C aqua downwards. Either way, during Monday session for this Sally chart we have to see downwards movement fairly likely to make a new low beyond the end of A aqua down here to avoid a truncation and complete a zigzag downwards for a second wave correction. When that's over we'd expect a zigzag or an impulse upwards for a third wave. Two purple can't move beyond the start of one. This wave count is invalidated with movement below 1430.53. Alternatively, it's possible that full green was over here with a truncated fifth wave and we have a 5, 3 and we need a strong upwards movement for a low degree third wave on Monday. If full green is a single zigzag structure with an A expanded flat for B and a 5 wave impulse for a C ending in a truncation, then this may be where 5 green has begun. At 1514, wave 5 green would reach a quality in length with wave 3 green. And it has to subdivide to a 5 wave structure 
and it's extremely likely to make a new high beyond the end of 3. This is our second daily wave count which has about an even probability with the first. The first daily wave count is looking at super cycle degree at the rarest of Elliott wave structures in expanding triangle. The second daily wave count is looking at a much more common structure, a double flat or double combination at super cycle degree, but within that, within the second structure, its A wave is unfolding as a flat, and within that flat, the B wave is now longer than 138% the length of A, which is the maximum common length expectation for a B wave of a flat, so that reduces the probability of the second wave count, which makes it about even with the first. Either way, this structure here has to unfold as a five wave structure. For the C wave, it's unfolding as an impulse, and it probably needs more upwards movement. The short to midterm target for upwards movement at 1508 is exactly the same, where 5 green would reach equality in length with 3 green. After that, this wave count expects a fourth wave correction and more upwards movement to the target at 1513 C blue would reach 1.618 the length of A blue. After that, we'd expect a trend change and when price moves below 1380.39 that's this high here, labelled A blue. At that stage, price would be back into what is wave 1 price territory for the first daily wave count, which wouldn't validate it. And so at that stage, the second daily wave count would be confirmed, telling us we've had a big trend change up here. Alternatively, if we look at this piece of movement, at the same as the alternate for the first wave count, we can see it's possible that we may have already just had that trend change. However, we have absolutely no confirmation of a trend change. We don't even have a 5 down properly without a truncation on the hourly chart. We have no trend channel breach and we need to wait for movement below 1380.39 to confirm a trend change. Any movement above 1474.51 would immediately invalidate this wave count, giving us more confidence in our targets for the first charts. So I'm expecting a little bit of downwards movement to start during Monday session, and after that overall more upwards movement. We should see new highs next week. That's all for me today with your SMP analysis and I hope that members are all having a fabulous weekend.